Clearing a clog on your MakeAbot Replicator 2X Experimental 3D Printer is not a difficult task. You'll need some tools. Pliers, 2 and 2.5 mm hex keys, a toothbrush, and some compressed air. First, unload the filament from the clogged extruder and turn off and unplug your MakerBot Replicator 2X. Using the 2.5 mm hex wrench, loosen the two silver bolts on the bottom front of the extruder fan. Once you've loosened the bolts, unplug the motor cable and remove the motor assembly from the bar mount. Your extruder's drive block assembly will be one of two different types. One type has an extruder lever arm and one does not. In either type, use the 2mm hex wrench to carefully remove the two bolts in the drive block assembly from the motor and set them aside. If your drive block includes an extruder lever arm, you'll want to lift the lever up before cleaning. If you see any stray filament, remove it. Now you can clean the drive gear with a toothbrush or some compressed air. Back on the printer, move the extruder fan assembly aside so that the thermal barrier tube assembly is exposed. Turn the MakerBot Replicator 2X on and preheat the affected extruder. While it's heating up, cut a short piece of filament. And once your extruder reaches 230 degrees Celsius, Grasp the filament with pliers and push it through the thermal barrier tube. You can use some force at this point, but be careful as the extruder is very hot. Force the filament through until you see filament coming out of the nozzle, then pull it back out through the top. Repeat this process once or twice, or until less force is needed to push the filament through. Now, reattach the drive block assembly to the motor, and place the motor back onto the bar mount. Then attach the fan assembly and tighten the two bolts. Lastly, attach the motor drive cable and you're ready to start printing. Visit makerbot.com support to see an overview of your support options. Thanks for watching.